Hi there, David Borman here again, coming to you from Bean Crypto. Today, we'll be talking a bit about how you can earn dividends from cryptocurrency. There are a variety of avenues to do this, and we'll cover some of the more accessible and popular. By the end, you should have a basic overview of what is available and some resources for additional learning. Of course, and once again, this is not financial advice. Always remember to do your own research and make your own decisions. Okay, with that said, let's begin by taking a look at what dividends actually are. Traditionally, a dividend was the distribution of a percentage of the company's profits to all of its shareholders. Cryptocurrency is a little different, however, but there are still multiple ways that users can potentially earn dividends here as well. Some are fairly straightforward, such as investing in the stock of a company that supports cryptocurrency and also pays out dividends. Then there are various platforms and wallets that offer returns for holding funds with them or using their payment cards. Lastly, there's cryptocurrency staking, which involves earning passive returns for committing your assets to secure the underlying network. Each of these approaches is unique, but the end result is that you will be earning extra just for holding certain assets or storing them in a specific way. We'll be covering multiple examples of each one, but know that there are many more than we could fit in this video, with new ones becoming available all the time. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin today with a look at some dividend-producing stocks that come from companies working with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. First up, CME Group. CME Group is among the largest exchanges available for trading financial instruments. It's known for a wide array of options, futures, and other derivatives contracts across everything from commodities and stock indexes to currencies and interest rates. What makes it relevant to us is that in 2017, CME announced that it would open a market for options on Bitcoin. Then in 2020, it expanded to futures contracts as well. Lastly, it added futures contracts for Ethereum in 2021. Of course, the CME stock also pays out a dividend. As of this video, the company pays $4 per share annually, or $1 each quarter. There's also a special bonus at the end of the year, which varies, but for context, was $3.25 per share last year. Next up, MasterCard should be a name familiar to all of our viewers, as the company stands as one of the major pillars in the global digital payments industry. Furthermore, as the use of digital currency has risen, so is the payment company's interest in it. In 2019, MasterCard announced they would be partnering up with the blockchain software firm R3, in order to engineer a unique cross-border payment system. Even better, the company has also partnered with cryptocurrency exchanges to begin allowing their users to convert cryptocurrency holdings into a local fiat currency. This stock pays a dividend of $1.96 annually in mid-2022, which is the highest return that MasterCard has offered shareholders since 2013. While it may seem counterintuitive to invest in legacy finance instead of crypto directly, it's reasonable to bet that MasterCard will continue to explore decentralized assets and services. Hence it might be a safer place to get exposure to the larger benefits that crypto will bring. Another company that's getting increasingly involved with blockchain assets is IBM. Admittedly, the stock hasn't seen much upside over the last decade. That being said, IBM is beginning to expand its attention towards blockchain technology. For one, it's created an entire division of its company that is dedicated to exploring and developing new decentralized solutions for enterprise businesses. These include products for managing supply chains, verifying a digital identity, creating and working with assets, providing healthcare, engaging with trade finance, and much more. It's looking a lot like IBM's position to be a major player in the development of Web3, so it may be a good choice for long-term valuation. Of the stocks we've covered, IBM also pays out the most in dividends, currently coming in at about $6.60 per share annually. This puts it well ahead of MasterCard and even CME. So the hopes that the valuation of the stock will rise with adoption of blockchain may still be a gamble, but the dividends being paid out on IBM stock are nothing to scoff at. There's one more company we wanted to talk about before moving on, and that's BTCS. BTCS is a cryptocurrency mining firm that offers investors indirect ownership of assets like Bitcoin and Ethereum. This is fine, but why we're interested in it is because it offers its shareholders what is called a dividend. If it's not obvious, that means a dividend paid out in Bitcoin. Now, to be clear, the company is young and has only had one dividend payment so far for just five cents per share. It's unknown if it will stay at this amount, but it will likely be a quarterly dividend, so 20 cents annually could be expected. On the one hand, if you look into the company and want to own this stock, it's a nice added benefit. On the other, it's not like 20 cents a year worth of Bitcoin is unto itself a reason to get involved. So definitely do some more homework on this one if you're interested. We did also want to mention that while the major crypto exchange Coinbase does have a stock that's publicly traded on NASDAQ, there's currently no dividend associated with it. So all earnings would have to come from valuation growth or active trading. Moving on, now let's take a look at a different kind of way to earn dividends from the world of cryptocurrency. For this next section, we'll be looking at platforms that will pay you rewards to hold your assets with them and or use their services. There are quite a few options here as well, and how you can earn varies, so let's take a look at a few popular ones. 
For one, there's BlockFi. BlockFi offers multiple crypto-related services, but what we're looking at now is their debit card. The BlockFi Rewards Visa offers 1.5% back on all purchases, rewarded in crypto. This means you can not only use your assets for purchasing, but you'll be earning when you do. Of course, even though this is a popular service, we do need to mention that BlockFi has been seeing some financial turmoil in the wake of both the crypto bear market and the collapse of Three Arrows Capital. As of the writing of this video, it has not yet filed for bankruptcy and is looking like it may be bought by popular exchange FTX. We only bring this up because, like so many things in crypto, nothing is a guarantee and you need to remember to be very cautious before handing a company your hard-earned assets. Going in another direction, there's Nexo. Nexo is a trading, lending, and borrowing platform that also offers a rewards credit card. This means you can earn 0.5% back in Bitcoin on all purchases. Even better, if you accept that reward in the native Nexo currency, that return bumps to 2%. Lastly, purchasing any crypto through Nexo also earns you 0.5% back, so there are multiple solid ways to earn through this platform. Lastly, we also wanted to mention Crypto.com, which also has its own rewards visa, this time offering up to 5% back on purchases. Furthermore, you can earn just for holding your assets with the service. Depending on the asset, this could bring in rewards as high as 14.5%, which is a pretty tempting offer. Again, there's lots of other companies like these that can offer returns. What will mainly vary is the exact services offered and rate of return. So be sure to do some comparison shopping before committing to anything. Okay, last up, we wanted to talk about staking. Honestly, we've talked about staking various crypto assets quite a bit on this channel, so be sure to go and check out some of our other videos if you want a closer look. For now, we'll just reiterate that staking assets to secure proof-of-stake networks is a solid way to both support a cryptocurrency and passively earn while you do. There are many, many coins that support staking, and exact rewards, again, vary wildly. However, some of the more popular coins for staking include Ethereum, which will soon be switching completely over to a proof-of-stake system. Know that if you stake your Ether now, you won't be able to unstake it until after the full upgrade, which could still be some time. However, returns for doing so will generally be at least 5%, and depending on where you do it, could be even higher. Another popular asset to stake is Cardano. Cardano is already fully proof of stake, and there's actually quite a few wallets and services that will allow you to get started. Atomic Wallet and Exodus Wallet are two great examples that allow for Cardano staking in just a couple of clicks. Rewards will again vary, but an annual return of about 5% is not uncommon. The truth is that there are too many other great staking coins out there to keep naming them, but they include Cosmos, Tron, Polygon, and countless others. Find your favorites and go out there and start putting them to work. Well, that'll do it for us today. Realistically, there's no shortage of ways you can start earning from your assets. It just depends on where and how. As long as you go slow and do your homework, more than likely, you'll be just fine. Of course, as we all know, there's changes happening all the time in the world of cryptocurrency, and you're going to want to keep up. So why not check us out at beingcrypto.com, where you'll find daily updates, analysis, and more. Also, don't forget about our other content right here on YouTube, such as interviews, educational videos, and our bi-weekly news show. Oh, and if trading is your thing, join our free premium channel on Telegram to receive free trading signals from our top traders. Lastly, we have exciting news. Our partner eToro, the world's largest social investing platform, is giving an exclusive benefit for the Being Crypto community. All you have to do is make an initial deposit to eToro using our links below. Don't have the time to watch and follow all of the markets? You can also enjoy eToro's famous copy trader experience that allows you to automatically copy top performing traders, instantly replicating their trades in your own portfolio without you doing any research or work. Or try their demo account to learn how to trade in a safe environment. Okay, that's all for me today. As always, thanks to everybody out there who's watching, and we'll see all of you again right here real soon.